I'm uh, a nurse by background, so I don't be fooled by the doctor. I just happened to have finished a PhD and got rather fed up with being the director of admin nursing, so decided to create a role for myself as head of research and evaluation. But at the time when we were developing Kevapod, I was the director of nursing and had this sort of vision for how I wanted to support our body of nurses. Happy uh, if we take questions at the end, at the end of our talk, and then if we make it overrun, then there'll be no time, so that's great. <laughs> Try the mouse instead. Okay, so for the, the aims of our talk is that I want to look at the background to the implementation of pebble pad in admiral nursing. I want to just explore a little bit about um, how we, our vision for how we demonstrated our competence for practice through uh, validation and revalidation of our nursing competencies and where PebblePad fits into that. Give you a flavour of the implementation plan and then what plans we have for the future. Okay, so do you know what Admiral Nursing is to start with? So I thought I'd give you a brief overview of what we are. And I think if, if um, I sort of said to you, do you know what a Macmillan nurse is? Most people in the UK would know. They, they're ubiquitous across the health service. So Admiral Nurses are a specialist nursing intervention that provides support for families affected by dementia. So it's very much a, a relationship-centered approach. We don't just work with the person with dementia. We work with the family carers also, because one of the keys to enabling people to live well as, and as best as they can in the community for as long as they can is by making sure you've got a resilient relationship. So making sure that that family carer or carers, because often there's multiple carers around one person, are in the best possible state to, to um, do that, to care. And we do that by lots of different ways. Um, it, it might just be about providing advice, support. It might be enabling or developing physical care skills in a family member to be able to physically care for the person with dementia. But a lot of that work is around providing um, emotional support to enable resilience within that family. And we do that by not just working with the family, but we also develop the knowledge and skills and practice of generalist workers across health and social care. People with dementia find themselves in many different settings. So it might be that we work with a GP on how to work with a specific case to enable that family to live better. It might be that we work with a Macmillan nurse where the person with dementia is reaching end of life and we want to make sure that they're skills in palliative and end-of-life care are best possible applied to that situation with dementia. And we do that through case management, so uh, it's about coordinating, making sure that any service or intervention required for that, that family will we'll coordinate and make those, keep those plates spinning and make that happen. Um, and, and as I said, promoting best practice and consultancy. Now, one of the things that originally faced us um, was how can we support nurses to articulate their competence. Now in Admiral Nursing we've had a competency framework since 2005 but I was very conscious that we needed academically to refresh that to make it uh, contemporary, fit for current nursing practice but enabled nurses coming into the profession of Admiral Nursing. They were coming in at a specialist level how do we know their specialists? How, how can we encourage them and help them to develop their um, articulation of what activities they're doing, what skills, what knowledge they have, but also help them move up through the tiers. So the competency framework was refreshed with Worcester University, um, that have an association of dementia studies. Um, but I think that what was becoming very clear to me as the director of nursing is that there was so much that was facing nurses, not just physically, providing care to the families they work for, but actually what they needed to do for themselves as professionals to remain fit for purpose within, whether it be the NHS or whether it be a, a care home, whichever setting they found themselves working in. And I wanted them to make, you know, I wanted to support them as best as I possible, possibly could to be ahead of that. So this, that's probably when Pebble Pad first became an option for me. Um, I was involved way back in the 90s when PrEP first reared its head for nursing, where you were expected to sort of maintain your CPD and demonstrate that within a, a hard portfolio. And, and I knew that nurses weren't doing that. If anything, nurses are awful. I don't know about other professions, but when things get tight and you have to do lots more work, 
you disembody your own needs. So nurses were tending to give it up their supervision time, they were giving up their time to develop portfolios. And then when it came to, re, uh, to sort of re-registering as it was then, they didn't have the evidence or they quickly scrabbled together a few certificates. So I felt that it had to be more meaningful than that. So we looked at um, Pebble Cad. So we commissioned uh, the university to refresh it and we wanted them, part of the tender I put in was that I wanted them to develop um, the, uh, this module and the competence framework to be used within the medium of Pebble Pad. And I wanted the competency framework as a, as a tangible document within Atlas um, so that then we could actually start to allocate critical companion that could work with them to do that and, and set up our internal structures to, to do that. Um, what we also uh, had to do in terms of revalidation, I'm sure those of you work in the nursing field, um, revalidation was seen with some trepidation with our nurses. That We already knew that uh, it was a simple process pre prior to this uh, registration. You simply returned after three years your declaration saying, yeah, I'm up to practice. And you sort of took the, you took the risk that were you going to be one of the people that was audited? Because the NMC supposedly sampled people and audited their portfolios. I didn't know of anybody that had, had that done. Although just before revalidation came in, I was audited. So, and that was a horrendous process. Not for me, because I'd, I'd been using PebblePad for a year, but I could see how that would actually floor many nursing professionals. So to enable somebody to be a safe and effective practitioner under the NMC code, these were the many things that had to be demonstrated. And I just wanted to support this better. The requirements for revalidation are not dissimilar to that that was in re-registration, um, but they were more exacting, and the NMC were developing templates online that you had to use, that you have to use. So they were starting to become much more prescriptive, and nurses would have to demonstrate their continued learning through a reflective process. Now, as admiral nurses and as the director of nursing, we support uh, a very robust clinical um, supervision process that is embedded within reflective practice. So it wasn't a difficult transition for us to then actually transfer some of that uh, learning and some of that development into PebblePad. So we just simply transferred the models of reflection that we were using uh, on a month-by-month -month basis within uh, clinical supervision onto PebblePad. And we followed the NMC templates for that are expected and we actually um, negotiated and developed the workbook within Atlas to make sure that it would fit the NMC's requirements but also fit our requirements in terms of the competency framework measures. But also that the electronic versions can be winged off to the NMC as well. They don't have to duplicate. I was very much interested in avoiding duplication at all costs. So we've had, we're starting to get a trickle of nurses now going through revalidation, and the workbook that we've developed meets the NMC requirements and uh, we, none of them have yet had a problem. The, these are some of the professional activities that really underpin uh, the public protection. So I see where they're coming from, but one of the, uh, almost a pedantic requirement of the NMC was that to reflect within each of those five pieces over three years, the nurses had to pull out and indicate which particular one of the P's was reflected within that piece of work to ensure that it was cross-meshing uh, what they were giving as evidence back to the professional code of conduct. So in a way, we needed to make it simple for the nurses. Okay, yes, it will do that, but it will also map into your competency framework so you will be able to articulate what level of practice you're achieving as well. So, the need for, for the nurses was that um, they had to have a professional portfolio, they needed to revalidate every three years, they had to comply with annual appraisal processes, and also they had the competency framework. And in many instances, they might also need their CV. So, really the need was, how can we bring all of those elements together help nurses to see the value in themselves because I, I often feel that once you can actually engage a nurse into effectively using their 
pebble pad portfolio, and it meets the various strands of demands made, made upon them, that they actually do, do then start to, to grow and to, to use it effectively. So, the solution was I, I started scanning around at portfolios, e-portfolios, um, a lot of pressure from different organisations to use certain ones, certainly the Royal College of Nursing was promoting one, the Foundation of Nursing Studies was promoting another, but um, I think I'm a, a sort of a frustrated artist at the end of the day, uh, I did intend to go and do an art degree, and there's just something about the way Pebble Paddy is presented, it's, it's, it's so intuitive, but it's, it's a, a beautiful object. To actually look at it in, you know, in a screen version, it appealed to me. So that might be a really simplistic way of actually why I chose it, but it, it just seemed to all come to bring it all together for me. I'm going to hand over to Amy now, who's going to take us through the rest of the presentation. Amy, to swap the microphone. Thank you. So, as Karen said, the solution for us was Pebblepad um, and really using it as a tool to hang all the different bits and pieces that are required of us as Apple nurses. Um, so, a tool for us to collate all our reflections on practice, um, our portfolio development, our revalidation requirements, um, competency framework, and also our appraisals within practice as well. So the sort of first stage of the of the plan was familiarisation. So we had a, a project plan and a steering group um, put in place, um, and the steering group was tasked with with the plan and helping to meet all those different milestones. Um, and the really important thing was integrating, um, you know, all the different systems that were on that the first slide um, into you know an easy to use tool for the nurses. So all the Apple nurses were gifted with Apple Pad licences. Um, you know, which helped them to feel valued as well. Um, so it was something that they were they were given, and really we were given a, a kind of year period to just familiarise all the nurses with the with Pebble Pad and really give them a chance to just kind of play with it and explore all the different things that it could do. Um, and that was supported with sessions through our practice development. So all the nurses have a, a monthly practice development um, group, and, and we use those to. Um, you know, to sort of show Pebble Pad, show what it had to offer um, and, and give nurses a chance to, to use it. We also used our um, Admiral Nursing Forum, which is our yearly conference, to have a, a session on Pebble Pad there and that was really successful and actually getting the nurses to use Pebble Pocket um, and Debbie came along to that as well and getting them to take photographs of their certificates for the forum and get those uploaded onto Pebble Pad and that really helped the nurses to see, um, you know, the benefits of it. Um, also, as part of the familiarisation, um, a module was commissioned with the University of Worcester, so the same university that was commissioned to refresh the competency framework, um, and that was a level seven master's module with 20 credits, um, and, and really that was looking at the competency framework and reflection and practice, but hanging it all off Pebble Pad again, so the, um, the assignment for the module had to be submitted through Pebble Pad. Um, and it gave nurses a chance to really use all the different parts of it um, and the assessment for that involved um, giving us a seminar and that was recorded audio and the podcast could then be uploaded to Pebble Pad along with a photograph of the person presenting and the 360 degree evaluation of that and what that did was, was gave us a cohort of nurses who were kind of super users for Pebble Pad and who were excited about it and who you know, knew how to use it well um, and they were able to go back to their regional practice development groups um, and really champion Pebble Pad and get people using it and get people excited about it. So Karen's also talked about you know, one of the main drivers behind <coughs> bringing Pebble Pad into Admiral Nursing being making revalidation a bit easier for the nurses. Um, and the NMC have their own templates um, that they require nurses to use, but what we wanted to do was you know, make something that they could, you know, pull all of their practice development reflections into, pull the competency framework into as well. And so we've developed a bespoke um, revalidation workbook for animal nurses. Um, so a small working group came out of the steering group to do that piece of work, um, which actually took quite a lot longer than I think we were expecting developing some of the some of the kind of workbooks within Atlas. Um, but just to show you a little example from that, so that shows, if you can see it all right there, um, the kind of front page of the, of the revalidation workbook. 
which contains all of the guidance from the NMC within it, so everything that the nurses need to revalidate is in that workbook and it talks them all through it, you know, word for word as the NMC have put it. Um, and that just shows you how nurses can add a reflection into it. And it also shows you the nurses who perhaps aren't as au fait with technology, we've added in little help screens as you go through the workbook to sort of, you know, how to step by step. <coughs> And that just shows you an example of a CPD record, um, again, that can be linked into the, to the revalidation workbook. So it hopefully just makes it easy for the nurses to pull everything, all of their assets that they're already collecting into that when they're ready to revalidate. Um, and so the other big part of, of having Pebble Pad was to make it easier for nurses to reflect on their practice. Um, so reflective practice is a huge part of nursing historically. Um, process through which nurses can kind of grow and, and mature as professionals and also the process through which they can articulate um, you know the level of practice and that links very much with our competency framework that Karen was talking about um, and obviously there's a strong emphasis on it within revalidation now so it's really important that nurses are engaging with it um, so what we did was in, we introduced various models through the, um, the academic module that we did with Worcester University and also through the um, revalidation workbook and we've developed the bespoke template again within Pebble Pads, which you can see here. Um, <coughs> so this is based on John's model of reflection, the so what, um, what, so what, now what, which is also what the NMC revalidation um, reflection template is based on. But what our bespoke template also does, um, which Karen touched on, is allow nurses to sort of tick box um, which of the revalidation priorities it links to but also which of the competencies within the competency framework it links to. So in this way, one reflection that a nurse completes can be used to you know, cross-reference to their competency framework, their professional portfolio, their revalidation. So hopefully it just you know, avoids that duplication and makes it a lot easier for the nurses. So what lessons have we learned? Um, make life as simple as possible, um, which was kind of the, the aim of, of bringing Pebble Pad into Admiral Nursing. Um, so it was really important to, to make all of the templates easy to use and to make sure that they all linked up and sort of enmeshed together to um, you know, avoid nurses duplicating work. Um, I think it took a little bit longer than probably we were hoping to get people sort of signed up um, and using Pebble Pad and perhaps a more structured approach so rather than just using the practice development workshop something a little bit more structured to get that initial sign up might have been helpful but we are now in a position where most nurses, I think, are engaging with it and using it. Um, so as I touched on before, it was important to see those tool poppies as champions, so the people who had gone through the, the academic module and who were really au okay with using it and, and sort of capitalising on those people and getting them to sort of spread the word and get all the nurses excited. Um, and we were also able to utilise those, and I was one of them, um, who ended up sitting on the steering group and getting some of those nurses who were the original users to develop some of the workbooks as well um, and in that way it made sure that the workbooks were actually fit for purpose and that the nurses in practice um, had developed them and, and so they were useful. So in terms of the future, I've got one minute left, so that's worked quite well. <laughs> the is I've got five questions. Uh, <laughs> so I'll just make this slide last for five minutes. Um, so, you know, we, we've been really, really pleased with Pebble Pad and how it's worked. And for me as a nurse in practice and also as a, a manager of other nurses, it's been a really useful tool, um, you know, to, to sort of induct new nurses and to get them engaged with and, and to really, you know, sort of help them meet all of those, you know, huge number of requirements that are placed on them um, in terms of practice development and revalidation and reflective practice. Um, so we're planning on developing a network of Pebble Pad super users, which is sort of already a little bit in place, but but growing that and expanding that, um, and obviously as Apple Nursing itself is expanding, it's important to have, um, you know, to have people who are championing it within the organisation. Um, and I think the other thing that we are doing in terms of the induction is um, making sure that it's written into contracts now that um, all nurses complete the academic module with the University of Worcester within 18 months of starting. Um, so in that way, all the new nurses that are coming in will be using Pebble Pad as part of that module within 18 months of starting. Um, so hopefully then, you know, right from the start of people's Admiral Nursing career, as it were, they're engaging in Pebble Pad um, and we're, you know, sort of keeping it going in that way. Um, 
And the other thing is, sort of the next plan is to use Atlas to host some sort of communities. So that's a part of it that we haven't quite realised yet, but I think is also another um, really sort of big potential use of Pebble Pan for us. So having um, groups for the regional practice development groups, um, where the nurses can share their reflections, can share articles, journal clubs, that sort of thing, and also for specific special interest groups within animal nursing. So, um, yeah, that's us. We're looking forward to what the future has to bring.